Okay, so this is inside of Funnel Track. So when you first log in to your campaigns dashboard, you're just going to see, uh, obviously, there's nothing here. But uh, what you're going to do is create a brand new campaign. Now, you'll have two different options. You can create uh, a new funnel or you can create a new link. So a link would just be if you're looking to you know, cloak an affiliate link that you're going to be sending to a promotion. Maybe you're going to be putting it in an email or a blog or wherever it may be. If you're just looking to track one link, you'll just create a new campaign for uh, a new link. If you're looking to create uh, or track an entire sales funnel, then you're going to choose a new funnel. Okay. And I'll show you uh, both of them. So the first one I'll, I'll show you is the new funnel. So what you're going to do is you're going to give this a name. And so say I was, you know, showing funnel tracks, and then uh, you're going to have your main offer, your upsell pages, and then your thank you pages. And I'll show you how all this works and how you can track everything the right way. So uh, the first thing you do is you put in your main offer. So this is like your, you know, your main sales page. Okay. And then you can put in, put in the URL to whatever that, you know, sales page may be. Okay. So I'll just put in funneltracks.com and then I'm going to give this uh, a value. So maybe the offer is $37, hundred, whatever it may be. Um, that's so you can track the number of, uh, or the amount of revenue that you're generating from each sale. Okay. Now you can uh, click on your upsell pages and you can add as many as you want, right? So uh, maybe this is my, you know, uh, upsell number one. And I'm going to just say this is, you know, uh, funneltracks.com forward slash, you know, OTO one or whatever that page may be. Okay. And then say that the upsell is uh, a value of $97. Okay. And so I just keep on doing this for my entire sales funnel. I just basically map out each of the different pages. And, you know, I put in however much, uh, it's worth if they, uh, if they do buy. Okay. Um, so I could do this and say, I have three different, you know, upsells in my funnel. And so let me just add a third one in here and say, this one is, you know, whatever, $147. So now you're going to have, uh, your, your thank you page, uh, tracking. So this may be, you know, after they've gone through this entire sales funnel, where are you going to be sending them to? And normally, you know, people will send them to some sort of a members, you know, login page so they can access the product. And so, you know, we could do something like that. Okay. So that is how you, you configure your campaign. You just add your main offer page and all of your different upsells and then wherever they go um, to uh, for the thank you page. Okay. And I just click on create and what it did is it added in all of these different pages. Okay. Now what you want to do in order to start tracking all of this data. Okay. It's going to show you the number of total clicks. It'll show you the number of unique visitors the number of total sales, the, um, the conversion rate, which also is on the left-hand side here, and then the amount of revenue. Okay. And then it adds up all of this data throughout your entire sales funnel. And it gives you the total revenue, total sales and total clicks as well as unique clicks. And then based on all of this data, it goes ahead and, and it gives you your earnings per click or earnings per visitor, as well as your return on investment. Now, in order to get a return on investment, there needs to be some sort of uh, ad budget or cost per click. Okay. And that's what this little dollar sign is for. So you can go in here and say that you're doing, you know, uh, some sort of uh, AdWords or, or maybe you just have a budget of, you know, say $500. You can go in here and you can put in a budget and that's how it's going to tie back and give you your return on investment. Okay. Now, before I go in and show you how to track everything, I'll show you just some of these other buttons here. Uh, the second button is if you want to do a split test. Okay. So say you want to split test two different pages. Okay. I can click on split test and say, this is, you know, split test number one and say that my you know URL is, you know, funnel tracks.com forward slash, you know, test or whatever you want it to be. Okay. And say that the, maybe I'm testing a price point, you know, maybe I change this to $27 or whatever it may be. Uh, and then from here you can also change the visitor allocation, which means if you have multiple, uh, split tests, right, you could have, uh, maybe, you know, half of your traffic go to uh, landing page a and the other half go to landing page B. You can do this as many times as you want to. Okay. So maybe right now I'm just going to change this. I'm, I'm just going to make this 50%. I'm going to create that campaign. Okay. So now, um, what it's, what it's going to do is it gives you this, this URL here. Okay. This is, this URL will automatically distribute you the traffic based on whatever it is that you have chose. Okay. Um, so I'm, I'm going to say, I want this to be 50, 50. Okay. And so now this, this link is going to send 50% of the traffic to my main sales page. And the other 50% uh, of the traffic is going to go to the sec, the, the split test page. Okay. And I can do this as many times as I want to, and I can do, 
you know, 50 to the main sales page and then maybe 25 and 25. And all you need to do is just use this link and it's automatically going to uh, redistribute that traffic. Same thing if you change it on the fly, say you want to change it up, you can do that. And so you can see side by side, which is converting the best. Okay. Now we also have a few other um, buttons here. If you want to add uh, a, a visitors to a retargeting campaign. Maybe you're going to be uh, serving ads to them on Facebook, on Google remarketing, on Fetchback, AdRoll. There's lots of different remarketing uh, services out there. All you need to do is paste in your, your code right here. <clears throat> okay. Just paste in your code. And anytime someone hits this link, okay, they're going to get added to your remarketing campaign. Okay. And you can do that for every single piece of, of the funnel. Okay. They can get, you can get added to a different remarketing campaign based on you know, how far they went down the funnel. Okay. Now, uh, there's also some referral stats. Okay. So, uh, I'll, I'll click on it. There's not going to be anything in there right now, but what it's going to do is going to show you, uh, the number of clicks and conversions. Okay. And it'll show it to you over time as well as each of your referrals. So maybe you have a link on a blog and then you have another link on a forum. You can actually see where all that traffic is coming in from and you can use it you can just have one link to track all of this. You can see all the different clicks and where that traffic is coming from. Okay. Now in order to track everything, there's just a simple piece of tracking script. Okay. Similar to if you've used Google analytics or any other tracking service, there's just a little um, snippet or a little piece of code that needs to go inside of the body tag on each of your pages. Now each piece of code is unique to that particular page. Okay. So you'll notice here, I have this tracking code here. Okay. And uh, what I did, I, I just set up a test site for you guys to see. I installed a plugin called scripts and styles. So if you're, you know, if you're using a WordPress site, you can just install scripts and styles and it makes it really easy to go into, uh, your page. Let me just go show you here on the back end to this main. So here's like my, say this is my main sales page. You can go in right here and you can, uh, update the scripts and it gets, it gets put in right into the body tag. So very, very simple. Now, if you're just using straight HTML or any other content management system, you just need to make sure that this script is on the body tag. Okay. Um, and so, uh, when you, when you go to this page, okay, it's going to tr start tracking, uh, it'll start tracking all of your visits. Okay. Now they need to, let me uh, go back here. And so you can see here, I, I created the, the main sales page and then just like a, a buy button. Okay. And then on my first one-time offer, there's the buy button. And then you also have this no thanks link. Okay. Now the no thanks link, the re you need to put that in there. So, so the, the way that the logic is, is working is that if they click on the no thanks link, that means that they, um, they did not buy, right? So they're going to your next one-time offer page. Um, but only if they, so if they click on the buy now button, right. And then they buy and then they get redirected to the next one time offer in your funnel, then we know that they bought, right. But if they didn't buy, we know that they didn't buy through this link. Okay. So it just cookies the user and says, okay, they clicked on the no thanks link and they're not going to get tracked. Okay. And so you can do that all the way through your entire sales funnel. Okay. And that's how it tracks. So basically you just need to go through and put on the, uh, tracking script for your sales page. Then you need to put on your tracking script uh, on your OTO page. And then here's your no thanks link, right? And you just do that all the way through the entire sales funnel. Okay. And it's really just that simple. Okay. So you just add in your tracking script throughout the entire funnel and it will start to track clicks, uniques, number of sales, conversion rate, and revenue. Okay. All based on the data that you provided in, inside of the sales funnel. Okay. So that's how you go and you, you can track your full funnels. Okay. Now, if you wanted to just track specific links, I can go here, click on new campaign and new link. So I'm just going to give this uh, a new link. Maybe this is a, you know, affiliate promotion and I'm going to give this uh, you know, a permalink. I'm just going to say, you know, uh, funnel tracks. Okay. And then I'm going to give this, you know, maybe this is my, you know, affiliate link, right. Or I'll, I'll just put, you know, the destination URL, which would be probably your affiliate link if you're looking to track something. But, um, you know, I say I could go to, you know, just put in the destination URL for now. Okay. So whenever, um, so then you use, so funnel tracks gives you this link. I just copy this link. Okay. And it's going to put that in there. And, and as you can see it redirected to the sales page, um, right there. So if I go back, okay. Um, we go back to my campaign and, and refresh it and go to links. You'll see that it has one 
uh, total click and then one unique click. Okay. And I can click on here and you'll notice that it, it's a direct referral. So right now, you know, because I went to that link directly, it's going to track that as direct. So any, maybe if you put it in an email campaign or you're giving that link to someone on Skype or, or wherever directly, then it's going to mark it as direct. But if it's, if that link is on a different website, okay, it'll, it'll tell you where the referral is. Okay. So that's how you can track all of your referral statistics. Okay. So it's really just that simple guys. It's very, very easy to obviously track your links, track your funnels, and you can do that all from one interface. Now, uh, there is one other, uh, 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 fun or feature that we added. If you want to track clients, um, client websites, we do have this user management area where you can add a user and you can give them access to all or just one of your projects and you just put in their email address. And, uh, you know, if you're working with clients and they want to see their campaigns, you can give them access to just specific campaigns. Okay. Now we also added, you know, the ability to reset tracking history. If you want to do, you know, maybe you're just doing some testing before it goes live. Um, you can do that. Okay. So it's very, very simple to track your sales funnel, um, do any type of uh, AB or ABC split testing. Uh, also adding people to a retargeting campaign very, very quickly. As you can see, just, you know, just talking through this, uh, just took a few minutes to set this up. Okay. Um, so that is uh, funnel tracks.